Hello, my fine friends. Apologies uh, if you're watching live for the late start. We had uh, not some internet issues. We've got uh, a new contraption after last week's Twitch of Fun. And then, was it last just last week's snooker as well? I can't remember. Uh, where um, we're now wired into the internet. We're not wireless anymore. We're safe as long as the whole internet doesn't go down. Um, and no, there was some problem with. Uh, our streaming key and stuff that Twitch wouldn't let us on. They thought we were too dangerous. They didn't want people to know the score for the football match at 8.02, which is the disaster. Uh, 17 viewers in. We may have uh, lost a few due to uh, no warning having been sent out. But, you know, the less people, the better, I say. Look, before we forget, just before it becomes sort of ridiculously, I mean, it's already pretty stupidly late. Here are the 802 football scores, although it's 807. Um, the UEFA Nations League is going on. It's a very important league. It's between the nations of UEFA. Uh, Germany versus England. Old rivals on the old football game. Both love kicking the ball into the net. Uh, but so far, neither of them have managed to do that. Germany nil. England nil. Italy, another of England's uh, wartime enemies. Uh, nil nil against Hungary. Can't remember what side Hungary were on. Probably against us. Um, there's a result in Finland that I'm not going to give you. Uh, Bosnia, Herzegovina versus Romania. It's only one minute old, that match. and You would not have had this result, or was it not for me being late? Nil-nil. Faroe Islands, nil. Luxembourg, nil. Lithuania, nil. Turkey, 20 minutes in, popped in two goals. A Turkish guy got the ball, kicked it. Another Turkish guy, bang, and it went 2-0. And uh, in the UEFA Euro Under-21 qualifying... I'm not giving you Group A and B. They've been finished for some time. Or Group C, first match. But Spain under 21 are beating Malta under 21, 2-0. Second half just begun there. Group D, Liechtenstein under 21, nil. Portugal under 21, 1. And it's three minutes in. Uh, Group E, Netherlands under 21, 1. Gibraltar under 21, nil. Oh, come on, G Netherlands, you're much bigger than Gibraltar. And there's no one under 21 in Gibraltar. It's all old people. Come on. You should be doing better than that. 51 minutes in. Uh, Group G, England under 21. A lot of English people watching. It's nil. And Albania under 21. Nil, 18 minutes in. And in the World Cup qualifying, Asia, United Arab Emirates, 19. Australia, nil. That game started at 7 o'clock, so that's an incredible score. Unexpected score, I think, the UAE thrashing Australia, 19 nil. I'd be interested to see what goes on next in that anyway uh on with the match oh, i'm so unprepared where's my mum oh, uh, doesn't it feel to you the weeks ago by very fast it feels like i was just doing this my notebook still here on the table oh no part of um part of sybil's masking tape has come off it's falling apart that girl frame one five one four five Getting very close to the number of Conservative MPs who didn't want Boris Johnson to be Prime Minister anymore. Um, it's the it's the 7th of the 6th, 22. Uh, me one will be raking. Uh, I have to say that Anne Byung-Man's family got in touch to say they found uh, me laughing at the name Byung-Man. Highly offensive. Um, I don't think it was that bad. It's a funny name. So uh, they've said we can't call the arena after them. So we're, we've got a choice of a German royal head of state uh, or an Italian aristocrat. Uh, again, both those teams playing in the UEFA League Nations as well. Both probably wearing black armbands as a result of both these deaths. But I think I have to go for the highest ranking older royal person rather than just a pissy aristocrat. Karl, Duke of Württemberg. I mean, they can't have a duke called Karl, can you? Oh, Karl! Carl, you're a duke, mate. He's 85 years young. Uh, the royal German royal head of the house of Württemberg, a very important royal house, I'm sure we'll all agree. He's been that since 1975. He isn't it anymore because he's dead. You'll remember he married Princess Diane de Orleans, the maid of Orleans, they called her. The second favourite Prince Diane, Princess Diane ever. She looks quite tasty. I looked her up. Uh, she's still alive. So if you're watching uh, Diana, Princess of Duchess of Württemberg, give us a ring. Um, I, mean, I think the picture's from 1964, but still, she's probably still looking good. She's now 82 years old, 82 years young. Oh, yeah, dirty old Carl, the girl three years younger than him. What a, what a little, little dark horse he was. 
<coughs> it was born in uh, Fredrak Straffen on the 1st of August 1936, pre-World War II. But I don't think we can blame him for World War II. Hitler was already in power when he was born. Um, he joined the family estate business based at Al Sun Pal Al Altshausen Palace. <coughs> and was heir presumptive to the headship of the House of Württemberg. Um, his older brother renounced his succession rights. So Ludwig really should be the guy we were talking about. But Karl got in there when old Ludwig renounced. And why did he renounce? That's the question everyone was asking in 1959. Why, Ludwig? Don't renounce it, mate. You're the head of the House of Württemberg. You'll be next. But he didn't. He, did, he didn't took it away. And then uh, 1975... On the death of uh, Philip Albrecht, the Duke of Württemberg, probably. I mean, I'm going to click on him. You know, he was born in 1903 and uh, prime age to support the Nazis. Uh, let's see uh, if he, he doesn't say whether he supported the Nazis. And, you know, I think if he hadn't, they would have said, said something, wouldn't they? They'd have said something about it if he hadn't. But uh, he didn't support him so much that he got uh, executed post-war. That's a little history lesson there. A bit of speculation in it. Um, and uh, why did Ludwig renounce? I guess we'll never know. Unless we can find him on... He hasn't got a... It just There's no blue mark on Ludwig. Let me look up... Uh, Duke Philip, see if there's Ludwig's got a page. I, I, I want to find out more. I mean, you know, sometimes yeah, you can't click on him, nothing. Ludwig lived till 2019. I mean, they were a long living family. He was uh, 1930 to 2019. That's a good long time, isn't it? 89 years old. Um, he married Baroness Aldhud von und Zabodman on the 16th of February 1916. They were divorced uh, 10 years later, 12th of December 1970. had three children. He remarried Angelica Keisig on the 14th of August 1972. They were divorced on the 14th of October 1988. They have one daughter. They had one daughter. Well, I bet she, one of them, still has it. Shame we didn't get Duke Ludwig Albrecht of Württemberg on as the... Maybe we did back in 2019. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's the latest history. That's the latest history from the 1930s onwards. Uh, no updates on the scores. Turkey's still tuning up. That's the main score. So um, let's get on with playing some snooker before the uh, stream goes down again. Chris Evans, not that one. 92 viewers now. Uh, in here, in the... Uh, I'm reading it now. I'm going to have to open the computer again so I can write down that bloke's name. Otherwise, you know, I'm never going to remember it, am I? And I'm on the wrong one. Carl, Duke of Württemberg. Of course, how could I forget? May he rest in peace. We don't know why he died. He's been uh, succeeded by his grandson, Wilhelm. If you're worried about the Wur Württemberg royal family and who's in the house of Württemberg, which, of course, you'll know uh, has been... It originated in the vicinity of the Salian dynasty around 1080. So, you know, we're talking about people who would have been alive at the time of the Battle of Hastings. Probably some of them were there watching or fighting. They settled in the Stuttgart area and uh, was made a count. Um, they initially just had uh, immediate surroundings of the castle with their lands, but it just gradually, over the next thousand years, they increased steadily, mainly through acquisitions such as those from the impoverished, impoverished homes of Tuben, Tubenberg. Uh, the Diet of Worms in 1495, Count Eberhard V was raised to Duke of the German King, later Holy Roman Empire Maximilian I. Uh, Duke Elric introduced the Protestant Reformation and the country became Protestant. Duke Ulrich became head of the local Protestant church, of course. Got nice palaces in uh, Stuttgart, old castle in Stuttgart. And Württemberg Castle was just a drawing. I don't know if it was a drawing at the time. Uh, no photos exist of that because it's it's from the ancient of days. So um, let's meet up with the snooker. And we've had a good. That's the latest in history, the German history. Poor old Karl Duke of Württemberg. Uh, Diane, I know you're mourning right now, but give it a couple of weeks. Give me a call. I'm happy to become, you know, heir presumptive. I'm a young man. 
Now, I don't know much about Württemberg or Stuttgart uh, or being a royal, but uh, I've got a great big dick and it's ready for you, Diane, anytime you want. I hope that's not disrespectful at this difficult time. I hope that's not, not disrespectful. If not, the Italian bloke I didn't do, I'll go for his wife. With my wife's permission, obviously. Uh, we are at a t very crucial frame of the snooker. I should We should get back to that. Um, me too. Uh, not only um, won last week. He won by 26 points. Just as a certain Greek siren predicted. A Greek... I'm not, I'm not sure on the siren. What was she? She was... Uh, oh, uh, oh, I had it then and then it went again. Uh, Oculus. She wasn't an Oculus. She was an Oracle. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I'm a very old, tired man. My son's been puking up for three days. Don't expect any sense out of me. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. 103 people. So, you know, I think maybe in the past not been enough German history. Stuttgart-based stuff. That's what I'm not enough propositioning of 82-year-old... Uh, widows of Duke Duchess widows on the day of their husband's death. She's probably not watching. If you are watching Your Majesty, uh, I, I apologise. Um, 26 points just as this oracle. Here she comes. She's got a bit of tape come off somewhere. I think it's off her top. Hopefully a top won't fall off, revealing her wonderful oracle breasts. I, it won't, Richard. I have seen the future and the past and the present, and I talked to another Thola. It's connected to a coat hanger. Also, I had no dress, so I could only suckle the t time. You can only suckle time. Um, do you have? Well, how do you feel about last week's result? By the way, it's pretty spooky. It was spooky, wasn't it, Richard? I always had it in my tower. To get the score exactly right. So I thought I would last week. And I will again. Who do you think is going to win? I'm very much seeing a win for me one. Yeah, that's what I was getting in my head. Really, very clearly. Me one. Even though I have can't, can't image things. Still, that image came in there. And what's the score going to be? It's going to be 62 points to me one. You're going to give the actual score. So, yeah. 62 to me one. 38 to me too. 62. I mean, that's a lot of points last week, I suppose. No, it's, it's about within the... Last week was 55-29. So that is a, a, a margin. 24 points, I think that would would make. Um, to win it by 24. So almost the exact opposite. What I have said, let no man put asunder. Well, blimey. I will come back to clean my riches. Well, if anyone wants to put some money on, that's what uh, what uh, the Oracle is predicting. And uh, I promise you, I have no control over the players. And even if I did, I would not uh, ever cheat to achieve one of these scores. And if I did, I would have done better than fucking one out of what? Like about 20 she's done. Let's talk to the players. First of all, he's winning by seven frames again. Can he make it by eight? Not according to... Uh, Sybil, me too, wearing his um, trademark tapped itar eye uh, t-shirt. It's sorry, it's uh, it's me too. Sorry, I was talking for a bit there. I just got uh, confused. Yeah, I saw. Ha uh, how how are you doing? How am I doing? I thought you were about to ask how am I doing. I'm doing great, thanks, Rich. Uh, I am looking forward to winning today. I, I don't, you know, just because Sybil got it exactly right last week doesn't mean she will again. I'm not worried. If she gets the 62.38 right, that would be too frightening, right? It would be frightening. Uh, how did you feel uh, the new referee, Referee 3, acquitted herself? Female referee, was there any worries that a woman wouldn't be up to the job? Richard, no. I, you know, I, I know, I've known a lot of women in my time, maybe too many, um, and uh, I'm, they're more capable than men, or at least equally capable as men, certainly of just moving some balls around. I'm not talking about those kind of balls. Let's have some respect. Ha <laughs> <laughs> um, ha. I thought she did a great job. Uh, she hasn't been fired into the heart of the sun. Uh, someone on uh, comments last week said that it wouldn't matter if the sun went down. You would still wouldn't be able to fire someone into the heart of it. It would take too long. They'd be dead by the time they got there. Well, I don't know if you were watching last week. You have to fire before the sun goes down or what you're aiming at. 
and B, we all heard referee two or one, whichever one it was. I'm glad they're both dead. Uh, hitting the sun and exploding and dying. So, what are you going to believe? Your science or the or the evidence of your own ears and by looking at me, seeing it happen, eyes. Anyway, they're dead and um, surely it wouldn't take that long to get to the sun. Um, and uh, referee three is very much alive, I'm delighted to say. Uh, a bit of... Uh, I can do something for the dads, which I count myself as one of because I am. It's nice to you know, nice to see that little tush working its way around the table. I hope that's not sexist in these this day and age. I don't know what's. I'm fifty four, nearly fifty five. I don't know what's sexist anymore. Anyway, me once just sitting down. Is that sexist? Is it sexist to be waggling your pen like that when you're talking about a lady's tush? Is it sexist to say tush? Me one's here. Hi there, Richard. Yeah, I think it is sexist. And um, I just want to say well done to Boris Johnson for his comprehensive victory yesterday. Um, I was watching... Uh, you know, as you know, he is my hero. He is my role model. And uh, and like him, I would like to say that even though the score might say it's 65-72, I very much feel that I have... On the big points, I've, I've made the right calls. And I very much think it's I'm winning. So, just like my hero, Boris Johnson. I hope that doesn't put... I know some fans don't like it when we get political, but I hope it hasn't put my fans off. I'm a big Boris Johnson fan. I love a BJ. Uh, uh, also, that bl could be a, bl a blowjob as well as a Boris Johnson. So, and I, I enjoy uh, giving a BJ a blowjob. No, I enjoy... Well, yeah, I mean, no, receiving a blowjob. You seem unsure. No, no, I have to enjoy... Yeah, it's all right, given them, I expect. You seem to know. It's fun, isn't it, to give pleasure to someone. Well, aside of uh, me one we've not seen, I suppose there has to be uh, some gay side to me one or me two for me three to exist. Is that right? No, maybe not. I, I can't remember how this works anymore. Um, me three isn't part of one of me and me one or me two, is he? No, I'm, I'm talking rubbish. Uh, let's get on with this. Let's let the snooker do the talking, shall we? Let's see if the score will end up as 62 38. You might want to put a bet on if you're at home. Let's go over to commentator one, commentator two in the Carl Duke of Württemberg arena. Let's get this over with and uh, get downstairs and, uh, you know, imagine my wife's Diane, Duchess of Württemberg. That's what I'll be doing tonight. The young version, I'm not. Hello, Richard. You seem to be a bit giddy with tiredness tonight, so we've cut you off uh, before you. Uh... It just says the Carl, the Carl Arena. You're Andy McCaitch, you're the weakest scoreboardist I've ever seen. Um, welcome. It's in a crucial frame tonight. The winner of this, if it is me, one, be right back in it at 66 frames. If it is me too, ah, there we go. It's come up properly now. Um, if it is me too, then I think this match is over, essentially. But it is me one to break. He's up at the hockey. Oh, there's a there's a snooker ball cue. Oh, but this hasn't... The Red Bulls haven't even been taken out of the triangle yet. What? A, this is a disastrous, disastrous piece of work from referee three. You can see her coming in now, looking a bit flustered, hot and flustered. Pink ball in completely the wrong place. Uh, you don't get to see uh, the referees setting up usually because they're usually more competent than that. That is a black mark against the name. However nice a tush is, that should not be allowed. Right, here we go. It's uh, me one. He's gone in off. Oh, and potted a red. The red counts for nothing. Me one has projected me two into the lead. It seems to make a nonsense. <coughs> of the predictions of uh, Sybil there. Calculating, calculating, me one, zero, me two. Calculating, calculating. Four, me two. Oh, that was, he, he tried to play properly for a minute there and it nearly paid off, nearly got a red ball in. Me one, now he's making up for his earlier error. Where will he go, green or blue? Will the blue go in? He's looking at it. He thinks the blue will go down. Oh, and does it? And how? Well, me one means business tonight. Break of six. Repair some of the damage. He's coming across to try and make it seven. Oh, he's fucked that up right royally up the ass. Uh, but me one. 
break of six. Calculating, calculating, meet one, six, meet two, calculating, calculating, it's four, mate. Calculating, you don't need to calculate, it's four, calculating, four, me too. What can he do here? Oh, he tries to smash it, nearly pots the pink, it hits the post, bounces off. Me one, unusual attempt to come hitting the white cue ball. Oh yeah, that was never gonna work. I don't know what he's thinking there. Me two, very poor from me one, me two. He seemed to be missing an obvious shot to go for that one, misses as well. Me one. No, they seem to have lost their Mongo. Oh, Mojo. Uh, oh, two balls pointed at pod, podded at once by me one, I think it was. Pretty sure it's me one. Can he make it a break of eight with just two balls? Not like that, he can't, but he gets two. Pretty sure it's me one. That's what the referee, that's what referee three say. Me two. Tries to take it seriously now. He's behind. Me one. All these reds going down, it's gonna be hard to get to 63. But me one seems to think she can do it. She's going for the green so far, not even disturbed off its spot. Oh, can that go through? Oh, I don't think so. Me one, scores another one. It's a low scoring match. Calculating, calculating, me one, nine, me two, four. Me two has not got a point of his own yet. And he goes in off. Oh, and it's starting to look very much like Sybil is correct. Or is she just, has she just put a hex? Has she just made the players feel that the, the, the inevitable will happen? Now she's had one success. Me one. This is an audacious shot. It hasn't come off. Me too. He needs a pot here. Oh, he hits the post. And me one fancies his chances. Oh, nearly goes in off. It's weak play today. The players are very tired. Me too. Oh, kind of shades of a push there. Got away with it. Me one. Oh, me one's gone in off. Me one's gone in off. Me two's back in this now. They thought it was all over. Me too. Failed to score any points of his own, but has eight beautiful points thanks to the errors of me one. And this is me two's chance. Oh, take, take that one up the arse, because that was in. A lot of the balls that are across the top cushion here. Oh, me too misses the green. He's up to nine. At least he's got one point of his own. Me one. Has not much choice here. Has to avoid potting the yellow. I don't know why he did that, because that was a good way to pop the yellow, but he hasn't done it. Me too, wants to get those balls up the top pocket. Ooh, and has he got a snooker? Me one. No, but it's gonna be difficult not to pop this yellow. Oh, oh, it's gonna say he'd done it, but he went in off, and it's 13 all. It's 13 all. Me one's gone in off, and me too, I think, has the momentum now. And that would certainly be the indication from that beautiful pot. He put that down slightly on straight so they could pot it. It was very nice work. And he's potted the brown. Very nice work. Me too, making a mockery of Sybil's predictions. Can he get a three ball break here? Oh yes, he can. Surely he can't get a four ball break. Can he? Oh, can he? He bloody can, and it's a beauty. Uh, he's got, this is a break of 10 already from me too, and it could go on. I think the, 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 he can just get round to get this red. Yes, he can. Oh, he's hit it too straight. What a shame, but wonderful break of 10 from me too. He takes a 10 point lead, calculating, calculating, me one, 13, me two, 23, so me one. Really needs to pull something special out of his bottom. And that was not it. Me too, or oh, is it snooker now, the cue ball? But, oh, and I thought that was a, a gimme there, but to me too's managed to miss it. I don't think me one can get this. The cue ball leaps across the table, but doesn't go in, me what, me too. He pots, lovely, he's really on form now. 
this game is all over. There's people on the pitch. Look at that, me too. That's the finest pot of this frame. Beautiful green into the top pocket. He's not brilliantly on the red because there's a chance of going in off here. It's a long way. Oh, I think if he'd hit that harder, that would have gone in. Four points to me too. And something pretty amazing is going to have to happen here for me one to come back into this. And that was not the amazing, or was it? No, oh, was it? Me too, can just see a corner of that. Oh, oh, could just see a corner almost potted from just seeing a corner. Me one, now he's snookered. And this is looking bad for me one. This is a hard, hard, a Harold hard rider shot. He's going to have to go right down. There's a pillar right behind him. Oh, he has not done well there. He's going to hit the black. Oh. Me too, looks like running away with this. I think he, he was so far away, he could ask him to play again, but this is, this is a break of eight right here, and me too knows it. Not only the seven from the mate, mistake. Slightly tricky with the black. Oh, and he has messed up the black. So me too, calculating, calculating. Me one, 13, me two, 35. So me too, very nearly at the total ascribed to him by Sybil. Me one, oh, me one's gone on, in off, and I think that's me two over the total ascribed to him by Sybil. She said he'd get 38, he was on, currently on 39. And it's his go. Oh, another sensational pot from the pinball wizard, they call him, that's his nickname. Oh, nearly pots the green and the brown, but luckily pots neither. He's up to 41, surely. 41, 13, that's a lot of points between those two, isn't it? 28 points, 25 on the board, or 20, yeah, 25 on the board. Me one needs a uh, snooker. He's not gonna be able to pop this green. Oh, green, I was gonna say, he nearly did. Me too. Oh, he's just finding just the crisp, it's like a, Gary Lineker finding the crisp packet shots. Oh, look at that. And me too. Could clear up here. It's a two ball break. Can he make it three? Oh, so close. Only seven more points there. And it could so easily have been one of the highest breaks we've ever seen in self-playing snooker. Me one. What's he trying to do? Is it, he was trying to get a snooker, I think. Oh. Well, he hasn't set up, and there's a danger here of potting the black from me too. He doesn't fall for me one. Oh, very nice snooker from me one. Me too. Gets out of it very nicely, and maybe creates a snooker of his own. Me one, I think, can hit this blue. Oh. And what a snooker from me one. This could be it. Me too. Oh. Wow! Me too! Surely is the son of God. You, if you, are you listening to the audio, please go and watch that. That was the most brilliant shot of snooker there has ever been. That's all I can say about it. Me too has potted the pink. Can he make it a break of 18 to end on? You know he can. He has shown Sybil quite firmly not to dick around with him. 66 plays 13. Always bet on me too. Two unlucky numbers. Well, if it was 666. 13 to 66. Me too now leads. Is the bat is since since he won that one after the the fake false thing, whatever it was. Jesus Christ, what an amazing play. I mean, Me Too was another level there today, commentator too, you have to agree. It was like, it was almost like two different people were playing. I would, I would say that, the difference in quality. Uh, me Too, I thought the, I'm, I, honestly, I'm, you know, I haven't really enjoyed this very much before, but I thought Me Too was going to have to take that shot several times to hit the blue. Not only did he hit the blue, he potted the blue. They will be playing that on what happened next on Question of Sport till the, till the cows come home. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, uh, incredible stuff.
Incredible stuff. Uh, so, someone in the chat room thinks me one and me two got swapped over halfway through. I don't think so. And the referee's decision, as always, is final. Back to you, Richard, in the studio. Well, what have we seen tonight? I think we've seen possibly the point where it just became pointless, these two playing each other. It was like a child playing... An old, old man, but not a decrepit old man, just a man who played snooker a lot in his life and was brilliant at it. And then um, just really beat them because the, the, the kid hadn't really played snooker before. How did Sybil get it so wrong? Let's find out from her. Ooh, did I get it wrong, Richard? Or did I get it very right? Look again at the scores. Well, you predicted 62-38. And it was 66 13 the other way round. But look at the scores of the total frame 65 73. Yes, 65 is very nearly 72, and 73 is almost 2 times 38. Ooh, that is pretty spooky. Yeah, you know, never try to. The thing is, sometimes she'll do it bang on just to show that she's capable of it, and sometimes it's a little conundrum, cryptic conundrum you have to work out for yourself. Let's talk to me, one. How are you feeling? Very disappointed, Richard. You know, I thought, like Boris Johnson, I was a winner, um, but today I was a loser. But I'm going to pretend that I've won, even though it's clearly a battering and that I've clearly lost. Um, 1366. Um, one of the most embarrassing defeats I think I've ever seen. But uh, if you were watching, I won. And I think they, I think I should have been playing. And so if you swap, swap it around, then I got it right. Well, referee three, I think did a great job. Apart from that, at the beginning, um, though, there's some question in the chat room as to whether referee one deliberately didn't finish setting up the uh, the board in order to give us a little flash of uh, her beautiful body. Maybe that's the case. Just get sent to stage. I don't know. I'm not saying. Um, she's not entirely professional, but uh, you got it makes you think. I never saw referee two do that. Referee one do that. That's what I'm saying. Um, and uh, me too. Sitting down now. How are you feeling, Richard? I am feeling quite good. I think I played well. Um, I only regret that I didn't uh, get five ball break to end the match. That I had to do it in two. But um, yeah, I played some pretty astonishing snooker. I think people will be looking back at that. Blue for a long time. We replaying it. Question of sport. I think. I think you're right. I think it will be on the what happened next on the question of sport. People will go well. Probably he missed. And then Super Arker will go. Was it that? And then they'll show it, and it'll be him. And people go, wow. I didn't expect that to happen next. And that'll be every week. I think on question of sport they'll just keep playing that. People will go well. <laughs> they'll just forget for what happened the week before, or they'll just think, oh, cut him this time. It's got to be that he misses. Well, Richard, I feel very proud. I didn't do it for myself. I did it for all the people out there who, who uh, are against this corrupt Tory government who believe uh, that this country is decent, that, that we can look to the future rather than to the past. We can come together and look after everyone in society, not just the incredibly rich, that we should be making sure everyone has everything they need and uh, tax uh, the rich. Well, I'm not sure about that, me too. I don't think we want to go that far. Well, because you've got a bit of money. Yeah, exactly because of that. Well, I think, I think that's sad, Richard. I haven't got much, but if I had a lot, I would give it to you guys, my fans. Well, and people, fans of me one. No, I wouldn't give it to fans of me one. Well, that's not very charitable. Just the way I am. Support me is what I'm saying, and you'll get stuff when I've got money. Well, you never know. Um... Let's not get this political anyway. The Tories are doing a pretty... You know, it's... A, it's Look, it's a difficult time with Brexit. They, that was, they chose that. It doesn't matter. And COVID, it's been a hard time for them. And, you know, who are you? Me, one? Well, some a bit, yeah. Boris has done a good job. So, you know, let's just keep it balanced. That's what I'm saying. He's kept us... Who got the rollout of vaccines going? The NHS. Yeah, but even so. Makes you think, doesn't it? Well, No. I'll see you next week, all my fans, and uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for believing me. Not you, Sybil. I was disappointed you didn't believe in me again. I always win, so it's an easy one to guess. 73, 65, eight frames ahead. I think it's all over. Well, maybe it is. Um, I'm going to go now.
and uh, you know, get my wife to dress up in a tiara. See what pops up. Um, thanks for watching. We'll be back with Twitch of Fun on Thursday. All being well. I was a bit ill this week. Um, we've got the internet connection working well. Hopefully we can sort out the issues with the uh, Twitch streaming service. And uh, I'm doing a live Twitch of Fun next Monday at the Phoenix, as well as interviewing Dick and Dom for Rahalastapa. That's got to be worth coming to, right? It's only £11. It's right by Oxford Circus. You can get home anywhere in the world. Yeah, uh, it might take you a long time. Um, do come along if you can. Come to the live shows. The next one with Sean Walsh and Bill Alzaffa. Fantastic lineup. Not sold many tickets yet, but please do come and see us live if you can. Look out for us at the Edinburgh Fringe. Don't know why I'm advertising Rahalastapa on this uh, sporting thing to 126 people. It's not going to make much difference. But um, if you want to see those puppets in real life, Donkey will be there. Cocky Carrot will be there. This guy will be there. Ew, I'm cheeky knee. You've shrunk a bit, Ali. Yes, I have. But, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. <laughs> well, you should, if anything, you should be a bigger one for the for, <laughs> for the show, not a little one. No, no, no. Look, this has been crazy enough. Thanks for watching, everyone. From me and all the me's, go fuck yourselves and have a good old night, my finest of friend. How do I get out of this? Oh, there it is. Goodbye.